You're alive. But thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Welcome back to the real world. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Getting lost in all the shit. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind- Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past.
Oh no! That poor little bird has been trapped in here! You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to choice. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore.
Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Nathan. And what did his dad do for David? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates. Photos of Kate, Nathan, oh, yes. Score, back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing.
This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just... Pray I can get this drawing right. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number get inside and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. 
You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're alright? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about the troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. 